up to more pizza because we're going to be here for however long you guys want to be. But my name's Laura Conkle and I'm with Functional Devices. Um, I did bring along a new employee. This is Ace Howard and he's our new web developer. So Ace, why don't you tell me kind of what your responsibilities are going to be? So I'm going to be maintaining the website, updating like product information online so it's accurate for you guys to check out. Um, yeah, I just started, like she said, on Monday. So this is a learning experience for me too. I'll be learning as much as you guys during this meeting. So that's, right. that's what I do. And we're based out of Kokomo. Uh, actually, it's Richardville, but we have two plants now, one in Richardville and one in uh, Kokomo. So if you guys travel up 31 through all that chaos right now, it's uh, on the right-hand side or uh, plant two. But one of the good things about our website is it's basically a very handy tool for you guys. You can take away our catalog and flip through, but if, there, if you need to find a partner, you can always go to our website and click in search, and it should just take you right to it. And of course, you can always call our uh, 800 number or tech support, or if you have other questions, pricing availability. But anyway, so uh, we got past the introductions on that. You're an Indiana-based company? We are. It's, it's a family-owned, operated company. That's kind of what I'm going through. They, they've been there since 1969 in Richardville. Started off as a little little building, and they just started making relays. Uh, it was a father and a son. Kind of, the father started, and the son took over. Um, you can kind of see what kind of markets we hit. Um, actually, we have more than 500 models now. We have over 800 models that we built. So, and I, I will have to read the mission statement. You guys can read. So. Here's some of the background of some of our customers that we deal with. What, what do you guys typically, are you guys HVAC, are you control company, electricians? School. Huh? School. Okay. How about School. you guys? We use facilities for everything. Okay. Well, but yeah, just kind of a little bit of everything. Okay. So you can see we, we have a wide range of people that we deal with on different levels. Okay, product overview. Like I said, when the company first started, it was more of just relays. But we have gone into current sensors, metal enclosures, peripherals. We've also got a lighting division. We do transformers, power supplies, and going into wireless and energy management. So we've built up our array of products over the years. And I brought a hodgepodge of stuff today. I didn't bring everything, obviously. Jackson keeps a really good uh, stock out here. And of course, flipping through our catalog, that's our 2013 catalog. You will see all of them on each page. Okay, here's just some of our basic relays. <clears throat> you guys probably have oops, this one, the RIV you want to see. This is the universal one that everybody I talk to in the world knows. They keep it in their truck or they use several of them. It's such a universal product. I can't go anywhere without someone going how awesome that is. But you can see we've got different type of relays, enclosed panel mounted LED indicator um, again we are the original RIB here's the uh, the switch on the outside that's just another thing you can do on a relay if you need that that's very nice function I think yeah right and the LED too it's nice to have that indicator right the visual the <coughs> switch just different Top operations switch. or mm -hmm. on off on off okay yep Oh, I was referring to the one where you could have the auto or auto well, function. Well, yeah, yeah. That's what, I, that's what we're yeah. trying to do. They're really like. That way, if a customer has an issue with his computer or something, he still gets a product going on. Right. Uh, there's just a bigger picture of the, the RIB you want to see. Mm -hmm. And as an email web closure, we also do email floor enclosures on our products, too. There's a panel mount relay. You don't want the enclosed. We have two different types of boards. We have the, um, the four inch and the two and the two three quarters. Your narrow and your wide track. Oh, here we go. Here's the override switch. There you go. That's what I was just showing you. Yep. So yeah, it's on the outside on that. And they, if you look at the part number, if you see it as it usually means there's a switch. <coughs> Just a typical application for relays, and you guys are probably confident you know, know about that. If you use them in everyday life, your strike contact, your standard relay application. 
Okay. One of the things that we've been working on, or I have, I've only been with the company for about a year now. Actually, I took Miss Angie's spot over, here, over a year ago, so, um, so I've been learning a lot too. But one of the things we do back net and we do lawn relay, so depending on what your protocol is for your application, we make both. They're basically the same board. I did not bring one with me, Angie. I don't know if you have a back net or a lawn out there if they want to see it. But this kind of describes some of the different models and. Uh, what you're wanting to control. So instead of like, if you have an application, instead of putting a whole another control box, you would grab one of these boards, whether it's BACnet or WAN. If you have a single point to control, this is where this would come in. Okay. Instead of putting out, uh, putting the expense into a whole different controller, you would grab one of our relays and control that single point. So it's more cost effective. And you can see right here, we have ones that come with the current sensor. In, uh, which would be the X, but we have all kinds of different voltages and inputs. Please help yourself if you want more stuff. You don't feel like you have to. Okay, here's just the other, the lawn. Basically the same thing. And the arrow there in the corner of the box, you can see where all the different series we have. And that's another thing that's available. In the catalog or you go to your website if, if even if you go to the website you put in LON or LN meaning on you know it should bring right up all of the uh, products we have this is what you have this is just the, the standard back net relay or ACDC 120 oh there's the one you went for and then this is the uh, 24 SB LNAI so this is your analog input long version so you guys can look at it pass them around What's more? Lord, do you know on the handoff auto on the things, does it communicate back whether it's in hand auto position? I think it does. Yeah. If you get the, the switch monitor, the S in it. Yeah. I think if it just says S, the switch, it doesn't, but if it, yeah, correct. Right, right. correct. Thank you very much. She still probably knows more about this than me. <laughs> Yes, we do have BACnet and LAN. We have Ethernet. And I did bring, we just completed, whatever you want to call it, completed or finalized our Wi Fi, which I'll touch on in a few minutes. We also have a Notion, too, uh, that we have. I'll get on that in a minute while you guys are looking. Okay, current sensors. Wide range of, you can see it's low as 1.125 uh, and as high as 150 amps. We have solid core, split core, adjustable, uh, you name it. We have the current sensor for everything. It goes great with our relays. If you want to need to retrofit anything. Okay, one of the things I have found in the last year is a lot of people, they know about relays and our current sensors, but a lot of people don't know that we make our own metal enclosures. Um, we make a wide range of those enclosures. Those are, would be in the back of the catalog, but you can also, again, refer to our website. Um, we make them per order. I mean, if someone needs 20 metal housings, we don't have them in stock per se, but we do, they, they're pretty uh, quick to make them in our uh, production area. You know, right here is a perfect example of this. This is a, the PSH 850, which I'll talk about in a minute, but you have all the knockouts out here. So this is like your basic metal housing. But we can make small, I mean, the biggest one I think is like, you probably like step in, it's, it's huge. Like 25 by 25. Or, we should have those in our building that can install those are nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a convenience event. factor. Yeah. That's what, you know, it's all encased and sure. the knockout. Okay, um, now on our peripheral controls. The fan safety alarm. I brought, I did bring that. It's the RIB LB. That's this one right here, and you guys can cut. It's not attached to the track mount, but it does come with it. This is like your uh, fan status report. It has uh, three, that's four inputs, but three of them uh, control like um, your fan status, fan safety control, static. So it's like your safety alarm. 